Alright, you delightful human beings, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka the Variety Nerd, and today we are back with more W2K20 Universe Mode Goodness. That is correct, folks. We are one episode away from tables, ladders, and chairs. I still haven't decided how many parts it is. That'll be decided well after this episode. So there you go. That's that's what's happening. But what I do know what is happening is this matchup here tonight. We got Shinsuke Nakamura about to take on Aleister Black, somewhat in the same artery as last because Kairi Zane very decisively defeated Rhea Ripley. So we're going to find out all that and more here tonight. We also got a big triple threat match, and we will also have some women's division action in our main event as well. So as per usual, grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, and just get comfy and cozy. We're almost at tables, ladders, and chairs. So there you have it. Let's get this going. And you know what? It's going to be an exciting matchup, to say the least. What? What is... Uh, what? What is go? Oh, no, no. What? Wait, hold up here. This is not Alistair Black or Rhea Ripley. I... Uh, what? What is going on here? I'm I'm genuinely confused. I'm why is Brooklyn Von Braun here with Samoa Joe? Why is Samoa Joe competing here tonight? I mean Brooklyn Von Braun apparently just shows up whenever she wants to anyway, but you know, it's like oh, why? How? How did this happen? What we need answers here. We we'll, we'll get some answers hopefully uh soon, but uh until then I guess we're having Shinsuke Nakamura versus Samoa Joe instead of against Aleister Black. I don't know if it has something to do with what happened last week. What is going on here? Just what is going on here? I'm, I'm just genuinely confused right now. But I mean, hey, this is still going to be a good matchup. But yeah. Match is about to begin here tonight. We got Nakamura versus Joe. Kairi Zane still in the corner of Shinsuke Nakamura because, you know, that makes sense. They're in the mixed tag match. And speaking of mixed tag match, I guess it's apparently confirmed now, according to the higher-ups, not the general manager, because she, she apparently found out when we found out too. So I guess we're now getting Shinsuke Nakamura and Kairi Zane versus Samoa Joe and Brooklyn Von Braun at TLC. So I guess we're seeing the in-ring debut of Brooklyn Von Braun in tag team format. I don't know. This is this is something else. Apparently, I guess Brooklyn might have just not have liked what she saw last week and decided to try to take action herself. I don't know. I really don't know people, but that doesn't explain Samoa Joe. Like, Aleister Black didn't even get a chance to have a match yet. I'm getting very confused. But anyway, that's apparently it. That's apparently the match. So, uh, yeah, that's that's something. And again, the mixed tag match is to determine which brand will get the number 30 spots in the men's and women's Royal Rumble matches coming up at Royal Rumble. So there's that. Huge slap from Samoa Joe. What's Nakamura going for here? Oh, but Joe is elbowing his way out of this. Huge move right there. Oh, huge move from Joe. Here we go. Definitely a back and forth match to kick things off with, of course. We'll also have some women's division action in our main event, and we will also have our other three number one contenders <laughs> in the match as well. Kairi Zane should probably, you know, kind of back away, you know. Okay, there we go. I'm like, Joe's kind of like getting way too close right there, you know. I'm just saying. Oh, speaking of getting way too close. Oh, and Nakamura goes outside the ring right here. Referee's out of one count. Oh, but Nakamura wants to bring things back into the ring. 
What's Nakamura going for here? Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, but Brooklyn Von Braun. What? Yo, what? girl. Girl. Girl, what are you doing? Oh my god. Brooklyn Von Braun in a nutshell, people. Joe's back on the offense here, trying to take advantage of that sticky situation. Oh, but Nakamura counters. Oh, but Joe. Oh, huge belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, what's Joe going for here? Oh, and Smojo hits the ear and Nagi and goes in for the cover. Oh, but Nakamura kicks out. This is this is an interesting development period, people. This is just this is interesting. We are going to be seeing the debut of Brooklyn Von Braun. I, I love how it's kind of fitting. The debut that we don't deserve happened at Survivor Series. And then it's almost like the debut that nobody wants. <laughs> At TLC. Oh my god. That's actually pretty fitting. Oh boy. Here we go. Again, if if Roger manager Christina Bennett can make it to TLC for that TLC match with Nia Jax and wins that matchup, she gets Brooklyn Von Braun because she'll have the contract at Royal Rumble. So that's that's a thing. That, that'll be a matchup, but we don't know... We, we know that she's out of a, the local medical facility and is resting at home, but she's not medically cleared as far as we know. Oh, right into the steel steps. These two are just kind of brawling it out. Referee's at a four count. Oh, and Joe right to Nakamura's stomach right there. That can't be good. Referee's at a six count. Oh, and a huge slap. Here we go. Oh, and Joe blocks the float over DDT. Referee's at an eight count. Oh, and a huge suplex right there from Samoa Joe. Oh, no, don't tell me. Oh, God, it happened. Well, people, on that note, it's official. We're getting Shinsuke Nakamura and Kairi Zane versus Samoa Joe and SmackDown Live General Manager Brooklyn Von Braun for those coveted number 30 spots in the Men's and Women's Royal Rumble for their respective brands. So we'll see that matchup and plenty more. But speaking of which, time to roll right into our tables. Our <laughs> I'm thinking of tables, like tables and all that stuff because of tables, ladders, and chairs. I'm at triple threat matchup coming up in just a second. And here we go, triple threat action between our last, well, our second half of our six number one contenders, which I realize that just sounds really dumb when I say that out loud, but I swear to God it makes sense. Of course, last episode we saw Randy Orton defeat Seth Rollins and Baron Corbin, and now we've got the other three contenders here. Umberto Carrillo, Cedric Alexander, and AJ Styles. I feel like this is like starting to turn into the most universe mode, like ladder match possible. But again, the winner will need to climb the ladder, obtain the Universal Championship. That's how it's going to go down. So, again, Universal Championship had to get vacated due to injury, so that's that's a thing. Either way, Roberto Carrillo, huge Hurricane Rana right there. AJ Styles kind of tied up in the ropes right over there. Carrillo going in for the cover. Styles breaks things up. Oh! Ooh! What style's going for here? Huge suplex onto Umberto Carrillo. What style's going for here? What's he going for? Oh, and a huge power bomb. Down to Styles and Carrillo inside the middle of the ring right now. Alexander trying to regroup a little bit, catch his breath just a tad bit, that sort of thing. First, we got a major main event. We got Becky Lynch, the Raw Women's Champ, taking 
not well, not just tagging on, but she'll be ta she'll be teaming up with none other than her number one contender and opponent at TLC, Shayna Baszler. Oh, huge, huge Pele kick right there from Styles into Alexander, and they'll be taking on the team of Ruby Riot and Paige. So we're gonna see who's actually gonna get along in that matchup, but. I don't know how that's going to pan out. I really don't. Oh, what's Cedric Alexander going for here? Oh, and a huge suplex onto Styles. What's he going for here? Oh, and a huge punch. Let's. Oh my god. Huge sunset flip right there from Umberto Carrillo. Why didn't he just, like, stick it in there for the pinfall? You know what I mean? Like, why didn't he just stick the landing? I feel like somebody's going to take that out of context. Oh, boy. <laughs> again, I think this is, like, my third episode I've recorded today, so kind of bear with it again. I'm trying to record ahead of time. Styles going in for the cover after that huge move right there. Alexander breaking things up. Oh, but Styles with another Pele kick on to Cedric Alexander again. You have to think that this matchup is going to benefit these three men right here. Again, AJ Styles, of course, being basically been just in every matchup possible. But then you've got the high-flying abilities of Cedric Alexander and, of course, Umberto Carrillo. So it's going to be interesting, to say the least, how that is going to pan out. Now, of course, on the other side, you've got Baron Corbin... Not as experienced as, say, you know, Randy Orton is or anything like that, but, I mean, the dude's pretty tall, so you gotta, gotta give him, him a little bit of a strength advantage and also a height advantage, too. So, there's that. Randy Orton, of course, like AJ Styles, entering veterans. Same thing with Seth Rollins. Of course, Seth Rollins also, you know, money, the previous Money in the Bank champ and all that good stuff. So, yeah, lots of different factors at play. It's really anybody's ball game in those sorts of matches. Styles might be going for it here. He's looking for it. Oh, and Styles, it's the Styles clash onto Cedric Alexander. Umberto Carrillo with the running drop kick onto Styles to break up that pinfall attempt at one. And somehow, some way, Cedric Alexander is back up onto his feet, going right for Styles, trying to trim things down, try to even up the playing field a little bit here. Oh, right into the post. Oh, man, right into the very, very post. All three men are now outside the ring, which, you know, you gotta win inside the ring, but yeah, that's 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 a fun time. Now all three are back inside the ring this time around, and Berta Carrillo going to the top rope, but Alexander catching him in his tracks right there. Oh my god! What a time to be alive. Huge Pele kick from Styles onto Alexander. Oh, and Styles had the calf crusher locked in, but the rope break proved to just be right in there, people. What is Umberto Carrillo doing? What's he doing at the top rope? This can't be good. Oh, okay. Well, I guess he wasn't going for anything. Oh, God. Oh, and Alberto Carrillo just... <sighs> sent AJ Styles right to the outside. My apologies, everyone. My sleep has been so messed up again. This is November 6th. Alberto Carrillo wisely going in for the cover. Oh, but Alexander kicks out at two. Yeah, at the time recording this, it's like nine-something at night on November 6th. So, again, I am exhausted. What's Umberto going for here? Oh, what a counter from Cedric Alexander. Oh, and AJ Styles 
sending out Alexander. Definitely trying to capitalize on that misstep. Oh, but Carrillo kicks out at one. Oh, my goodness gracious. What a matchup, people. What a matchup. Oh, and a huge hurricane. Oh, my God. Oh, but what's Styles going for here? Huge move from Styles. Oh, man. They're all back inside the ring. Oh, and a two count. Alexander kicks out. Oh, man. This is something else. Here we go. Oh, and Carrillo kicks out at one. This has been just a very close match. This has been a very close matchup, my dudes. It's been very close. Oh, but Alexander... Huge DDT right there. This matchup is something else, people. Oh, but Styles is going for it. Oh, and he hits the move right there. Styles hits it. Oh, but Alexander counters. Oh, huge Insigiri right there from Umberto Carrillo. Oh my god, this matchup has been something else, friends. What is he doing? What is this man doing? Oh, and he hits it! Okay, this- just go for the cover, my dude. Go for the cover. Oh, but Cedric Alexander's back up onto his feet. Could this be it? Oh, and Styles kicks out at two. Who will walk out of here with the win and set some momentum heading into tables, ladders, and chairs? Oh my god. This, this matchup is something else. Oh, and a huge counter. What is he looking for here? Oh, but Styles is like right there. Styles is getting up onto his feet. Oh, and he breaks up the pinfall. He breaks up the count. Oh, but Styles. Styles counters. Oh, and a huge slam right there from AJ Styles. Styles going in for the cover this time. Could this be it? Oh, but Carrillo kicks out. This is something else, people. I think Styles might be looking for it. I think Styles might be looking for it. AJ Styles might be looking for it, people. Oh, and he hits the phenomenal forearm. That might be it. Oh, but Cedric Alexander's trying to make it. Oh, and he wasn't quick enough in time. AJ Styles barely, barely barely picking up the win here tonight. I want to I want to stress that as we just saw barely getting that win right here tonight. But he got the win. This this I don't know what to expect from this dang ladder match. I really don't. But what a matchup that we just saw people and hang on to your butts. We got quite the main event about to go underway here tonight. But a major congratulations to AJ Styles everyone. Major congratulations. Alright, here we go, people. Main event time. Right before TLC happens and goes down here tonight. 
We got the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch, making her way down to the ring for this huge tag team main event. She'll be teaming with her number one contender, Shayna Baszler, against Ruby Riot and Paige, which you might be wondering, Christina, why? Well, they're kind of the de facto sort of leaders or spokespeople or the solo stars. So that's sort of how that happened. So we, we want to make things a little bit interesting, have the opponents kind of team with each other. That sort of thing. So on that note, let's get this going, people. Let us get this party going. And here we go, everyone. I see is there's like blank stands right there. <laughs> but here we go, people. Becky Lynch teaming up with her number one contender for the Robins Championship, Shayna. Baszler. It's going to be quite the interesting battle, nonetheless, between the two, but for tonight, they got to team up with each other to face off two other people that just straight up don't like each other either. You know, got to keep things fresh, got to keep everybody on their toes. That sort of thing. And here we go, everyone. Here we go. Here we go. Paige is about to make her way down to the ring. Of course, to team up with Ruby Riot against Shayna Baszler and Becky Lynch. It's going to be interesting to see if these two can actually work together to get the job done. And here we go, everyone. Here we go. Ruby Riot about to make her way down to the ring, about to start a riot inside the ring. We're going to see if, again, we're going to see how things pan out. We're going to see if she gets along with Paige at all. So, I don't know what's going to go down. It's going to be an interesting time, to say the least. But either way, Ruby Riley made her way down to the ring here tonight to go up against Becky Lynch and Shayna Baszler. Definitely a big moment here for Ruby Riot. Let's get this going. And it looks like Becky Lynch and Paige are kicking things off here. This is very interesting. This is going to be a very interesting matchup, to say the least. Again, whoever wins this matchup, they might have a little bit of momentum going onward and going upward, to say the least. I don't know who's going to win this matchup, given that nobody can get along. Whew! My apologies, everyone. My god. Go, people, here we go. Paige is on the offense here. Against Becky Lynch, huge power bomb. Oh, and a huge backbreaker from Paige on the Lynch. Fans aren't too happy. This is quite interesting. Oh, but Lynch has Paige in the corner. Oh, what's Becky Lynch up to here? Oh, and a huge, huge move right there from Becky Lynch, right from the top rope. And Paige gets to tag into Ruby Riot from... Right into Becky Lynch. Again, my apologies. It's been a very long day. It has been a very long week, but we're we're we're, we're, we're trying. Oh, and what's this? Shayna Baszler just is not having it today, people. She, what what is going on here? I think Shayna Baszler is walking away from this match. And I quite frankly don't blame her to a certain degree, but I also sort of do. 
What in the world? I understand nothing. Oh, but Becky Lynch, huge move right there. Oh, and Paige breaks things up for her team. It looks like Shayna Baszler is going to be walking back down to the ringside area. But it looks like she's just kind of going to stay there, I guess. Shayna Baszler is not, not doing it today. She ain't. She's just going to let Becky Lynch do all the heavy lifting, apparently. Beck Sploder suplex from Becky Lynch. Ruby Riot. Oh, what a huge move from Riot right there onto Becky Lynch. I mean, a loss for the man is not good, but at the same time, she's kind of just by herself in this matchup now that Shayna Baszler is just watching, observing. I mean, technically she's still in the match, but... I don't think she cares at this point. On one hand, I don't blame her, though. Oh, and a huge move right there. Oh, huge counter from Becky Lynch. What is Becky Lynch up to? Going to the top rope. Oh, and a huge diving elbow onto Ruby Riot. And the fight is officially starting to spill out to the outside of the ring. Uh, this is not good for anybody. Oh, but Becky Lynch. Exploder suplex. Oh, man. Both of them are out of it, people. Both of them are just out of it. Of course, pretty much everybody in this matchup has history with one another in some shape or fashion. Between Baszler and Paige and... Now Riot and Paige, and Becky with Baszler, and... You know, everybody's got history with everybody in this matchup. Somewhere. Somehow. Some way. Both of them are out. There, There's no other way around it. Both of them are out. Referee's at an eight count right here. Oh, but Becky Lynch makes it back inside the ring. Oh, and she breaks up the count. The count's been restarted. Becky Lynch going in for a DDT. And hits the DDT onto Ruby Riot. Oh, but Riot counters. We're at a six count here. Seven. Referee's getting in there once again. Eight. Oh, but Riot breaks up the count this time around. What is going down here? The referee is at a six count. Becky Lynch is back inside the ring here. Oh, but Lynch goes back outside the ring. Oh, my God. Referee restarts the count once again. Oh! Oh, and a huge suplex. From Shayna Baszler on to Becky Lynch and Baszler back to watching everything outside the ring. The one person that you're supposed to trust the most is your tag team partner in a tag team match. But what happens when you can't do that? This is something else, people. Shayna Baszler just... Oh, man, the crowd is not happy. The 
crowd is not happy at all about this. Not at all. Oh my god. Both women are back inside the ring right here. Becky Lynch, however, with the exploder suplex. And Lynch going in for the cover once again. Baszler just couldn't care less, but Paige breaks things up. Oh, but she sweeps and knocks down. What is, where are your allegiances at? Where are your allegiances at, Shayna Baszler? Maybe she just wants to just beat everybody up. I mean, I kind of don't blame her. Really don't. Becky Lynch has the armbar locked in, and the disarmer has actually made Ruby Riot tap out in the middle of the ring. This was something else. There was a lot that went down. Uh, Becky Lynch got attacked by her own tag team partner. Then Shayna Baszler, you know, she just decided to go rogue, essentially, and just beat up everybody. And I feel like that sounds about right as we're heading into TLC. But what a matchup that we just saw. I was really surprised that Ruby Riot and Paige kind of worked together as much as they could. But here we go, people. Uh, the uh, very interesting champion and number one contender tandem has officially successfully defeated Ruby Riot and Paige here tonight. So that's pretty much going to be your final image as we head into TLC. Again, I don't know if it's going to be two or three parts just yet. Uh, so yeah, leave your predictions down below. Let me know what your favorite moment was from this episode and what match you're looking forward to and all your predictions down below. Just get your snacks, people. Get your popcorn ready. Get all, Just get all your snacks. Get comfy. Get cozy. It's about to get really bumpy at TLC. So on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in again. Leave a like, leave a comment. I do a lot of fun stuff here on the channel. Hit the subscribe button. And I will see you all around later. Bye, everyone.